when I was still in school, I, was, I had the opportunity to work at a laboratory. It was called the Laboratory for Computer Graphics and Spatial Analysis. Um, while there, there was an executive director of that lab called Alan Schmidt. The Second Lifetime Achievement Award will be for Alan. And I'd like to take a second and introduce you to him from my perspective. He started life as a chemist, became a geographer, became an urban planner, and then learned a little computer package called SIMAP. <laughs> this was, this was a, the first computer mapping package built at Harvard University. Actually, it has some long history. But it was developed and thought about by a gentleman called Howard Fisher. Howard was the first director of the lab. Allen became his understudy, student, colleague, friend, and then took over the lab. At the lab, lots of people were burst and lots of people were influenced. People like, um, well, a lot, like me, and probably 40 or 50 other people here in the audience today. Alan actually is not a flamboyant great speaker. He's a quiet fellow. He became my friend at the lab, and he shared his work with me. He nurtured me, and he also nurtured people like Scott Morehouse, and Hugh Keegan, and Dwayne Niemeyer, and countless others at ESRI and other places who are here. I remember Alan mostly because he was kind to me. And if you're a graduate student, you know what it's like, most of you. <laughs> it's uh, outrageous, actually, what they make you do. <laughs> Alan nurtured me. When I decided to go back to California, he brought me into his office and gave me a long list of people he thought I should know. Business contacts, relationships, and actually, he helped me launch the whole vision of ESRI. In many ways, his spirit lives in the people that manage ESRI. I'd like to take a minute and have you join me in welcoming Alan Schmidt. He's going to share a few of the old times at the lab. Alan? <laughs> 